This is Brian with Adventure Riding TV. In this episode, urban explorer Pam, who goes by the screen name Tiki Trex, gives us a video tour of an abandoned hotel in Kissimmee, Florida, after which she visits a badly vandalized old farmhouse. Looks like they have the main level fenced off there with some meshing, although there is a little opening there. And imagine that would be the main building. Here's the, uh, looks like building two because the numbers are in the 200s. And the same thing, the main level is blocked off, but the upstairs is open. And the doors are open, so it should be easy access to at least explore the upstairs. And if you can see over there, there's a third building. And from what I could see from the road, there is a couple more buildings beyond that. I think there's about five buildings. So let's go in and explore. Okay, let's see what these rooms look like. Make sure I'm not walking in any snakes. And you know my fear of spiders. They're big down here. Okay. Well, nothing left in that room. I can see somebody's been after the wiring here. Yeah, see they've been digging the hole there in the wall by the tub. Walls are in pretty rough shape. There's a couple wasps' nests up there. Okay, what do you say we head up these stairs? The stairs feel sturdy enough. Do you know my biggest fear right now is spiders? Okay. There's the view from up here. Another empty room. Just gonna make sure nobody's staying in here. There's a lot of that here in Kissimmee. There's a chair outside down there. Could that be somebody's home? Looks like an electrical room. Boy, the uh, copper thieves would have loved this room. Not much else to see in there. Some manuals up there, and there's a calendar from 2003, 2004, I don't know if you can see that. Bruno's. Located in Maine Hotel Lobby. 
I'd like to find that main hotel lobby. This is the laundry room. There's a lizard. Yeah, it looks like they clean most of the bedding and furniture for the rooms out of here. There's glass, of course, everywhere. Got some hanging vines ready to strangle me. Yeah, another empty room. Yeah, I don't think there's much left down this end. They're all just empty rooms. Okay, let's check this way with the chair. Just an empty room there. It's still empty. Okay, let's check out one of the other units. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as the last one that we went down, which was just over this way. It looks like somebody tried to set this end on fire. Check out the fire damage. Looks like they managed to contain the fire after these two rooms here. Didn't seem to get much further than that. Here's the upstairs. This is the other building across the way. And look, there seems to be more fire damage here too as well. It looks like all the, the place where they're storing all the chairs from the restaurant that was here. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of junk in these rooms. You can really smell the mold in here because it's closed in with that mesh. Oh, look at the boxes. Yeah, it looks like when they closed, they just piled everything into this main building here. More restaurant chairs. Look at the mold. Another cat down there. There's a lot of cats in here. Looks like more restaurant equipment and chairs. And there's some mugs over there. That's jam-packed, full of furniture. 
some uh, laundry. Like just a lot of box springs. And some mattresses here. Doesn't look like that bed was even moved. That doesn't look good. still intact there. That's surprising. Uh, that doesn't look good either. Okay, this looks like it might have been the office or something because it's a lot bigger. There's a desk here. This is like where they kept all the, uh, or stored all the phones from the rooms. I don't know if you can see all the spider webs there. There's the, some neon signs. I don't know what they say. It's hard to see when you're this up close to it. Looking down that way. I've got a shop back there. More neon signage. Check this out. Key room, or uh, keys for the rooms. Best value in. I wonder if they used these, if that's what this was called at the end. If that's the uh, room keys left behind, I would imagine so. That would be the. Uh, last name that it obtained. The martini glass there. And some wicker chairs. And just a lot of insulation still in the bags. Pretty rough. Some conventional ovens from the uh, kitchen, for the restaurant. I think the restaurant was Bruno's. And some Christmas balls, Christmas tree bulbs. Okay, now I came down that way. There's another cat. And I smell vomit. And it looks like some sort of a gazebo over here. And somebody's car alarm going off. Maybe that's not a good thing. There's a mattress there. I wonder if somebody is staying there. It looks like tabletops turned upside down here. There's another one. And a couple over there. And here we have a pool. Okay, here's the side view. Looks easily accessible. Let's just make our way in. There's a um, Oh, there's even a basement entrance over here. Let's take a look at that. Looks like that was their mailbox. 
Well, it's pretty junky under there. There's holes going into the foundation. Here's another one. All going through there. a hard piece of fungus. It's heavy. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's make our way up these stairs. Oh, I see a fridge. I don't know how secure these stairs are. Oh, the floor is caving in there. Look at that. I won't walk on that one, but there's a fridge. It's looking in there. It's here. Let's check that out, see if it looks any sturdier. Seems to be. Yeah, it feels pretty sturdy. It's looking back out to the, um, where the floor is collapsing on that side. Plaid wallpaper. an old turntable. You can see the floor is just filled with debris. Oops. Obviously we have the kitchen here. Cupboards are missing. The doors, anyway. The sink is totally gone. Okay. There's the bathroom. Oh, there's nothing with the toilet. I'm standing on a hill here, a hill of junk. Some uh, trees going into the window. There's a hole there going through the basement. Pretty rough looking bathtub. Okay, there's the upstairs. Come back to that. Well, it's well ventilated anyway. Looks like there's been some vandalism. It's in a pretty remote area. Nice 70s shag green, putrid green rug. Along with the uh, paneling. This window's wide open. There's nothing left. Look at the size of it, it's big. There's a uh, farm right there. Another one that way. Okay, this must be their uh, porch. Looks like it was nice at one time, though. See the nice woodwork around here. A nice mature tree bot. Quite a large wraparound deck here. With holes. A 
and for the screen door. Floor loot feels a little bit soft there in the uh, entrance. Oh, looks like it was a kid's room. And there's a laundry sink. That is one of the drawers from the kitchen. Pretty eerie looking in here when the paint starts peeling like that. That's the little closet. Oh, they could have looked at it right through the wall, actually. <laughs> okay, let's head upstairs. Heard a noise, I think it's just birds outside. Hopefully not a raccoon. Okay, here's one room. Nothing really in here but broken wood, smashed up wood, somebody's handprint. The typical long narrow closets that these houses have. Looks like it was one of the kids' rooms. There's some sort of animal feces there. And uh, there's the insulation crumbled there on the floor. And someone's been drinking cherry whiskey. It kind of smells like manure up here, actually. Looking down the hall. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything living in that hole. Hear that noise? That's just birds out there, though. Oh, there's a little cubby hole with a chair in it. And some, uh, I don't know what those are, paint cans, I guess. You can't see in there, it's too dark. See, if there is a raccoon in here, they'd probably like the corn. Or maybe it, it brought the corn in here. And here's the other room. Mattress is disintegrating. Oh, fly just came flat right at my eye. There's more of that uh, fecal matter on the floor there. So I suspect a raccoon is living up here somewhere, maybe in the attic. Look how eerie that door looks. Okay, let's head back downstairs. Okay, here's the walkout basement. 
It's going to be hard to get through all this. Wow, looks like a lot of uh, debris on the floor here. It's like an old frame for some sort of chair. And a lot of glass. At least it's not too dark down here. Yeah, see the glass is all broke out of this pane here. Oh, look at that. The front of a TV. Oh, no, there's the back of it there. Another one here. Okay, try to get around this glass here. Okay, I just had to turn the camera off because it's a little bit hard getting through there and I didn't want to give you guys vertigo. There's like an old stroller from the 60s or so. This does a little, uh, oh, they're all rusted up, seized. Looks like all the insulation's all fallen. Actually, the, the woodwork, the beams there look like they're in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's just all fallen insulation. There's an old door thrown down here and a bathtub. Other than that, that's about it. A little room in here. Well, that's a big motor for something. Well, probably something to do with the well. Okay, that looks like it's about it.